we left Lucille's Roadhouse, we, we uh, went just right up the road about a quarter mile to the Thomas Stafford Air and Space Museum. It's a, it's a nice collection and I was very impressed. They, uh, they, uh, they have a really nice facility there. And then there's our nuclear warhead. A very impressive collection of air and space memorabilia. Uh, Thomas Stafford was uh, on uh, a couple of Apollo missions, I think, and uh, the most famous one was the one where they docked with the Soyuz Russian uh, capsule. And he's donated a ton of memorabilia. They have examples of like all these different planes that he's actually flown during his career, including like an F-86 Sabre, uh, F-16, uh, F-80 shooting star, um, and even a, uh, an authentic MiG-21, I believe. Um, in addition to some really gigantic rocket engines. That's what my daddy flew in right there. Good old C-47. Dang old C-47, we'll tell you what now. Dang old Goonie Bird. Katie, this is a great facility. What, what hours is the museum open? We're open every day, Monday through Saturday, okay. 9 to 5, and on Sunday, 1 to 5. How much does it cost to get in? Admission is for adults, $5. Okay. Students, 6 to 18, or with a student ID, is $2, 5 and under, free. And we let Weatherford students in for free. Okay, neat. Do you have any like annual events or special occasions? Well, um, we are doing uh, some of that stuff. We are starting to incorporate that. We have our air and space camp in June. Okay. Um, we have the airport does an Oki Dust Duffel, which is an aerobatic competition Excellent. every July. And we incorporate some with that, trying to get tours and that kind of thing. Um, we have a star party, an annual star party that we have been doing, which is around when a meteorite shower is going to oh, be. Oh, okay, neat. And uh, that's a family event where they come out, build rockets, and eat barbecue, that kind of thing. Okay. And then we also have members events only, uh, member only events where Christmas party, barbecue uh, dinner, in okay, the summer, right. That kind of if thing. somebody wanted more information, you have a website, probably. Yes, it's StaffordMuseum.com. Okay. Very good. Easy enough. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for showing us around. This is no really problem. great. I'm glad we stopped by. Yeah. I wish we had more time there because uh, it really was amazing to see all that stuff. We're going to go, uh, we're going to go try to get up close and personal with some of the windmills. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Leaving the Air and Space Museum, we headed just outside of Weatherford, a uh, little ways out in the country, to go see the wind farm. Of course, the wind farm, you can see for probably 20 minutes as you're approaching it because of their size, and it was really amazing to get up close to them and hear them. Um, you can go right up next, next to the things. They're producing a lot of wind out there with those big things. We felt it the whole way. The whole trip was windy, actually. These are huge. It's amazing how huge these are. We're right outside of Weatherford here, and uh, anybody that's traveled I-40 through Oklahoma has seen these, these wind farms out here, and uh, it's really incredible. Getting, getting a, little, a little close and personal with them is uh, it's pretty yeah, awesome. It, you can see them from miles away, but getting up underneath them here is, is quite different. A, a, fitting, a fitting place to end our journey today. Yes. Well, thanks for watching.
Always, as always, check the website, twowilloklahoma.com, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> I'll pick the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I might go for this. All right, I'm rolling if you've got something to say. I think, I think we can come up with something to say. You shall enjoy your two wheels. Okay. There's that large That's wheel. the Cherokee truck stop and all that. We need to get uh, off there. Do you have any handy tips for people on how to put gas in a bike? Don't stand right over it. Right, two wheel Connecticut got off to kind of a rocky start, I understand. It did, the weather was cold. Now we're gonna look around here and uh, just absorb the karma. <laughs> well, I am gonna go look at it. Oh. He said he was real glad we didn't show up at noon. Yes. Battery. Oh, look, 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 grass car. Grass cars. Those are grass cars. That's yeah. <laughs> Wichita, Caddo, Delaware, tribal jurisdiction. They were checking us out. Checking our Indian card. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I started to say real rude things. What's your name again? Katie. Katie, I'm sorry. Yes. We finally figured out why it's so windy in Western Oklahoma. There's probably 150 of these giant fans all over the place, just blowing up a storm. We talked about getting a beer and then we never did. <laughs> How's that? <laughs>